This diagram shows two readings on a micrometer. Reading 1, reading 2. What is the difference between the two readings? This is sneaky. Difference between the two readings. How do you read a micrometer again? We gotta look. Um, this one is a bit hard to read. Maybe we read this one first on the right side. These lines, we gotta subdivide them out to even know how to read them. So if this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, then the line in between is a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, so let's read the right one. This will be 10, 11, 12, 13. Not yet 0 0.5, almost there. So there's a 13 over there. Millimeters. How do you read this thing? So that side thing where you turn, uh, like, you know, when you open a water bottle, you turn the cap. It's similar how it works, but one full cycle is uh, until 50 only. So how do we add together? Uh? This one, you have to add the 13.00 plus whatever is on this small vernier scale on the right side. So that one, if we read it, is 0 0.446. Uh. Can't really see. 46, I think it is. Yeah, so this is 46. So that's 0 0.46. Add together. This is how you can read your vernier, vernier, uh, sorry, vernier, vernier scale on a micrometer. So 13.56 millimeter. The other one is 1.5. Okay, so if I read at this point, that is 1.5. So I'm going to write there 1.50 millimeter plus the vernier scale. So that's part two. This looks like a 12, 13, 14, 10, 11, 12, 12. So if that's a 12, I'm going to put 0 0.12 millimeter. This giving me 1.62 millimeter. So you find a difference in the end. We have to take 13.46 minus 1.62. Giving me a value of 11.84. So this one, once we subtract, remember, must remember to subtract, it's going to be 11.84. Okay, that's how we read micrometer. It's good to revise a bit uh, how to read this and also the vernier calipers. That will be helpful in theory papers.